folks, my name is Terry. Hey, thanks so much for checking out my channel, Home Again. Well, today I am in a cookie baking, candy making frenzy. And I think I'm gonna make a series out of it. So I better stop talking and get baking. So why don't you join me? We are gonna make a quick chocolate nutty fudge. And I'm supposed to have an eight by eight pan, but I just realized my eight by eight pan is, must have broke. So I don't have that size, but I'm gonna butter up the next smallest size I have. And hopefully this won't run and go all over the place. I'm just gonna smear this around a little with my fingers now. We're getting our pan ready to put our fudge in. So when it's done, we don't have to be fumbling to get this done then. It's ready to put in the pan. So we have that done. Now, in a big bowl, I'm going to put um, one 12 ounce pack of semi-sweet chocolate chips. I have Walmart brand here, it doesn't matter what brand. And then I have a cup of marshmallow cream. I uh, use this, hold on one sec. Sorry, but I'm my own camera woman here. I use this, and I imagine any kind of marshmallow cream would work. So I have one bag of chocolate chips and the one cup, and I'm mixing, putting it in this bigger bowl because I don't think the small bowl is gonna be big enough. that in there and then you put in a pinch of salt I really don't know if that's that important but they told me to do it so I'm doing it and a teaspoon of vanilla and we're just gonna let that set and we're gonna go over to the stove now oh and also can't forget nuts one and a quarter cup I'm using walnuts this is the way I chop my walnuts. I just break them up in a bag with my hand. I like bigger chunks of nuts, especially in fudge. And this works really good. If you don't want to do it that way, you can just chop them. So, put that in there. So now this bowl is going to be all ready and we're going to go over to the stove and heat up the rest. And when that's done, we'll be able to pour it right in here and mix it up. Just leave that there. Okay, so I'm putting my stove on medium heat over here. Medium, medium high. And in this container, I have one and three quarters cups of sugar. I'll post this recipe up on the screen so you don't have to remember this. And a half a cup, I'm gonna add to that, of evaporated milk. That's this right here. And then I also have two tablespoons of butter in there. You could use butter or margarine. Sorry, I have to remember to keep you in the frame here. And we're gonna stir this, and we're gonna bring it to a low, gentle boil, and we're gonna boil it for, sorry, this is hard doing this one-handed. We're gonna boil this, I think it's two minutes. I uh, will check. So we're just gonna stir this constantly until it starts to boil. And I keep trying to get the sugar off the sides of the pan because you don't want any gritty sugar. You want it all to dissolve. So that's what we're doing, trying to make sure that all the sugar is off the side of the pan. In a little bit, it'll start to boil. And then we'll boil for two minutes, it says, without stirring. Okay, it's really hard to do this one-handed, but I hope you can see I've just tried to make sure all the sugar's off the side of the pan. We don't want any grittiness to it, so we get all that sugar off the pan. Then it says, once it starts to boil, to constantly stir it, but don't scrape the sides of the pan anymore. I don't know why, but that's what it says to do. So it's not boiling yet. When it boils, we're gonna boil it for two minutes. So now you can see it's boiling. I'm gonna set my timer for two minutes. And we're gonna let it boil and constantly stir, but don't scrape the sides of the pan anymore. We're gonna boil it for two minutes. Stirring constantly. Okay, now we're gonna add our hot sugar mixture to the chocolate and the marshmallow. I 
actually don't want to scrape the side too much. You don't want any of that gritty sugar, but I'm trying to get all of it out. As good as it gets, I guess. Stir this up. Switch to the bigger bowl, that's for sure. There's big chunks of nuts in here. Anyways, I'm not even gonna worry about pushing this to the sides because I had the wrong size pan, so that's a big nut there. I had the wrong size pans. So we're just gonna spread it out so it's kind of like an even thickness. This fudge is so creamy and delicious, but don't take my word for it. Give it a try. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you liked this video, if you could give me a thumbs up, or if you'd subscribe, I sure would appreciate it. Hope to see you next time.